Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to my Floromancer world. I hope you are all well this Saturday and are ready for some building. I haven't done any building in this world for quite a while. Well, you know, I've done here and there, but things are so incomplete. I'd like to complete some things. So that's what we're going to work on today. We're not going to work on um, production of anything or any farms. We're going to decorate and build. So since the last stream, I haven't done a whole lot. Um, I've been watching the supplies come in for the summer rune that we have started to develop. I believe we may be at a Gormorillus flowers. So let's check on that. Um, cause I don't want to waste food and I don't have a way to shut it off just yet. Okay. So we do still have a flower running and we can do five more. Okay. So we're all right with the Gormorillus flower for now. We definitely need to come back here and, and build at some point, but there are so many incomplete places that I need to, that I go to frequently that I'd like to do first. And, um, let's see, so we've done most of this direction, the farming area. We've decorated most of the rooms there. I do need to finish off the wheat farm. Um, that still needs some build, not only building, but actual, you know, finishing of the farm. So we're not doing that today, but I want to finish that off at some point and get a ceiling on it and polish this wall up. So that's really all we have down this hall. Um, this hall is going to be stay incomplete for a while because we're going to be putting the cactus farm and the pumpkin and melon farm down this hallway. So uh, we're going to leave that kind of incomplete for now. This room is for the most part done. I need to get some mushroom blocks and fill that in with mushroom blocks. And looks like some plain stone straight across there. So we can do that real quickly and get that finished. Um, take the ring of correction off. I'm going to need to use my silk touch. Let's get um, 32 bones. Make some bone meal and we'll get a couple of mushrooms grown here. How are we on this stuff? Okay. Grow, you know you can. Wow, hello. I haven't changed anything. Why aren't you growing? Hmm. What is different? This is all the same. I haven't added anything. I haven't moved anything. So why aren't you growing? Take you down for now. Huh. I wonder if the ceiling is too close. I wonder if it needs to go up one. Well, that is something easy to test. So let's get up there. We're going to break out a bit of this ceiling. Oh, and let's break out all of it. There we go, and now we're going to see if this mushroom will grow. All right. Sixteen bones. I just burned up all of that bone meal. That was it. Okay, I'll need to keep that in mind. I'm gonna need to go up one one more um, with the slabs. All right, so let's switch to the axe that has um, silk touch on it. Okay. 
Okay, so that means I also can put this back. We've got mushroom blocks, and they're going to go here. Uh, probably not there. No one will see that section. Will they? some stone. Mm, three stone. There we go. Okay, so let's get up there and replace the... Uh, we need to replace these as well. So we'll hop back up there, and what we need to do is go one higher at that level. Okay. Lush, but now we actually need to go up one. This means hammering out some of this smooth stone that's in here. Done. What are we going to move on to next? We've got a couple of rooms in the basement area, I guess you can call it, down near the Petal Apothecary stuff. Um, we have the room that's crafting flint and the new room that we made last time that's doing clay. I started working on those this morning, laying out the hallway area. Um, I think we're gonna do something really simple in there. I don't want to do anything really fancy. So, that will happen. What else we have? The spectralist room. We haven't. I haven't been in there to do anything in quite a while. So that room needs to be done, and the hallways leading to it, and then up the stairs to the cow and chicken farm. That all needs to be done as well. Let's grab these couple of sandstone slabs that we're gonna need. All right, and we'll pillar up here. See if we can't get this done. Okay. We only have four. We need more sandstone. Maybe. Is this all I needed? Do we have bone meal? We do. Let's grow. Let's grow one. 
make sure that it now works. Oh dear. There it goes. Okay. Did it delete that or did I not have one there? I'm a little confused. Anyway, let's turn this on. Because it's fun that way. I really need to refine this. This would be something nice to work on to uh, improve. Done. Do that. Accidentally made a couple of mutating spores, I see. Um. Very nice. So this room is technically done. Do I have. Let's grab. Let's see if I have one or if I need to craft one. Sandstone, slab, I have one. Alright. I suppose we can, we don't need these blocks anymore, so we can pick them. Turn them into mushrooms. stacks and 20. That's the next number to keep an eye on to see, make sure that it's going up instead of down. All right. space in here, do I? Just bones. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's show you that flint area. Do I have sand in there? I do. I've been kind of force crafting sand because this is slow and I've needed it for the clay into terracotta so I can build up a supply. Here we go. This is the hall. These are the two rooms I have so far. I'll probably put another room right here, but I'm not going to put any rooms here because it's too close to the petal apothecary for the flowers. And I'll need all this space here to do the stuff back behind. So I'm not going to do any of that. Hi, Darkwing. And I will want to push this one back. Um, so yeah. We may do some rearranging of this one. I think it'd be nice to make them look like lab rooms, so I'm going to put glass in front of it. So I might do the brick along the front, and then glass, and then living rock at the top. So you're going to look like you're looking into laboratory rooms. We won't need to access them at all. We just, you'll see that they're running. So, hi Owen! Nice to see you. So yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do. So they'll be really plain on the inside, probably either living rock or some other plain looking uh, block that's not stone. And yeah, because you'll just be viewing what's happening from the outside of the room. It is the plan. <laughs> so, and then of course we have this set up so we can go down here and do more rooms or access the... Um, spider, spawner, whatever we need to do here. And then I need to decide what color grass this is going to be, if it's going to be regular grass or not. And then this hall needs to be done as well. Uh, I will get to that part next time. So that's what we got here. 
Uh, I'm not going to do anything in here today because we have so much other building areas that are incomplete and have been incomplete for a very long time. And what I'm talking about is this area up here. We have two areas. <clears throat> okay, so we have this area here leading towards the spectralist room. We need to do this. This has been a completed room for a very long time, so we need to decorate it. And whatever we do for this hall is also going to be carried out up through this stairway, up through this hall, and up through that hall. So once I decide a pattern, I'll be able to easily just replicate it all the way up to the sheep farm, which of course the sheep farm has been done for a long time as well. So this actually needs to have some walls put in and whatnot. So this is what we're working on. This is what we're going to work on today, is getting this side decorated. So, yep, okay. I think we need to figure out with the acacia what other blocks to put here as the hallway theme. Um, do I want it really colorful like I have down below in this hallway? Or do I want it more muted? I'm thinking more muted. What do I have a lot of? I'm pretty sure I have a lot of andesite, so I could do a whole gray scale theme. Um, so that's potential. When did I do these? I don't remember where I used those, but that, that I have them. Hmm. Okay. If I did grayscale, I think I'd want one block that has some color to it. You know, what might be interesting if we have a decent amount or if I can keep it running while I'm streaming. Um, this block, the coral reef block, I only have 41. I think that'd be interesting with a bunch of just grayscale and have this as the featured block kind of in it. Um, I need a smooth stone generator running in order to do this. So let's give that a go. Let's set it up until the water disappears. Uh, where did I put to the lava? I took the lava out because I got tired of hearing it clicking over and over again when I walked through there. And water, lava. Let's get this re-established. Then... Bind this guy to a pool and off it should go. Yep. Alright, so we'll let that run for a while. See if we can get some more coral reef while we're here. And in the meantime, we'll use all the other blocks and get everything but where I need to have coral reef. Okay, so I want to use um, andesite. I, I'm pretty certain andesite is what I want to use. I know I had some smooth andesite over here. Uh, so let's get that figured out and we're gonna use, um, let's use these purple blocks anywhere that we want to actually replace with coral reef. And let's figure out some kind of a pattern here. This is a five wide. And brick. How do you do the brick? I want to make sure. And the site brick is polished in a. Okay, so 
we'll do you and you. All right. I did that. Pose we could put coral there, coral reef, and then put Do I want it back here? Or do I want it in front like that? I want it in the back. Remember these are just placer blocks. Here. Sure. Like I said, I want I'm thinking doing something very monochrome, but then have an interesting block there. Let's actually go grab a couple of the coral reefs so we can see what one of those will look like. Like I said, just something kind of interesting. And there's no other purpose for this block, so what would we do for a three wide spot? Um that need more polished. simple like that should work. Alright, so then we have another five spot and that's going to be the same setup. So, oops. There, there. Brick. And then here. So I think we've established what we're going to be doing for the hallways. I don't know about the ceiling yet. That might be an interesting um, option to bring in some of the either the teal color that's in here or the sandy color that's in here in the ceiling. So this is a three spot. Oops. 
All right. All right, so this hallway is done, except for we figure out the ceiling. And we'll be able to replicate this up here. I'm gonna do the flat areas first and then figure out how to connect these angled bits after. All right. So what are we gonna do in here? I think I'd like to close off the mechanics back here. We'll do something simple for the walls and floor in here. Uh, maybe even line the dirt ceiling so you can't see it. And then this area, the most interesting thing is the, the crafting wall, so I'll probably do some It'll be muted in here. Something simple. Um, and we we'll still have to remember we need to have a setup to do the flower placing when we can actually craft them automatically. Alright, so. We did. Ooh, we could do a living wood plank floor. That would be very pretty. So if we did. What are you? And put in the floor. go all the way to here. Perhaps. Yep, I already like it. Okay, so living wood floor makes this really pop. So let's go get more living wood. Do we have some already? Okay. Nine more planks. stack here. I don't think we need that many. Um, where will the doorway be leading into the mechanics? What do you think, guys? I think number one, we do need to go all the way to this wall. And we need light, so let's get that done. Hide the mechanics door with those. Oh, that's true. The um, hide the door with the spectral 
these, the spectral platforms. Is that what they are? I know, yeah, there's a block where you can disguise it and still shift and walk through them. Um, spectral platform might not be what they are. I thought they were made with living wood. There might be two versions, so let's look this up. Because, yeah. Obst obst thank you. That is what it is. I'm pretty sure. Abstruse platform. Um, it's physical body for whoever's on top and is sneaky for anyone else. No, this is top and bottom. Um, this is for going up and down. So maybe it isn't that one. Maybe it is the um, spectral. Spectral platform isn't it? It isn't more than an abstruse platform with no physical body whatsoever. Whereas abstruse platform would have a physical body in some cases. The spectral platform lets anything go through it regardless of their position. So this is actually what we need. Technically an upgraded version. So we need some framed, we need pattern framed pixie dust. And it'll give us two, which is enough for a door. Okay. Let's see what we got. Dink, dink. I already have one. When did I make? Oh, I think we tested this for something else, and I don't remember what. I didn't grab the pixie dust. Um, I have no clue where it is in the base since it makes two per recipe, so okay. Let's give this a go. All right. So if we're going to wall this off, I probably am going to wall it off here. Um, I'd put one there, but I need to be able to access that spot there. So if we put it here, okay. Oh. That should work. Mm -mm 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 -mm. thinking I'm gonna want more than just a smooth wall here. Uh, that's why I keep going, um... I'm thinking I could just do a wool pattern here. There's 16, this is if we did just these three blocks in the middle. Just put different wool blocks down. That would just be probably an interesting enough pattern to do. Let's get some more living rock. And then I'll figure out the wool. Yep, they can. Uh, You just have to right click on them with the block that you want to change them to. See? Alright. I need to be able to hop up here. There we go. It has been a while, hasn't it?
Here we go. All right, so like I said, we'll, all, we'll get some wool types and we'll put a design in there. How do you remove them afterwards? I think you just have to break them to reset the color. Um, I mean, I'm sure I can then just right click them with something else. And it changes again. Um, yeah, let's grab one of each of the wool colors. Okay. I do not have the space for this, so I don't know why I'm thinking, hey, let's do this now. There's four. do is we'll start here. They don't have to be any particular way. Hey, Sapopa! Nice to see you. And let's do blue. And then we'll do purple. So we have to put the purple one back because it doesn't get consumed. Brown. And we're just gonna do a checker pattern. Sure. Nothing fancy. Alright. Put the purple one away. Get over here and grab these four. white one I'll probably choose last because you might not be able to really see it um, in here. Orange, blue, and magenta. We have four more but we're near the top. I only have room for one more spot here and I don't want to put the white one there so let's go pick one. pink. Alright. Hey, Aries in the channel, folks! There we go. Hello there, glitchy block. Alright. That works. That works for me. That's enough interest to uh, go, oh, look at this. Isn't this interesting? Fancy schmancy doohickey. Yeah. So the walls on these sides, though, I'm very tempted to just do, like, smooth stone. Um, no. Uh, smooth. No. What is it? I know I saw this one. Polished stone. I did polished stone. It would just be simple, plain, because the interest is this wall, and eventually back here we'll do something too. Alright. So up here we should get some acacia 
or as Izumafoid calls it, a cha-cha. We don't have a lot. I'll have to do some farming. But um, we can use what we've got to start. And we'll do right here first. We went up four, I believe. Yep. And we'll go to here. Okay. Now I would use my vein miner, but it's going to take out too much of the stone and create pockets that I'll have to light up to prevent mobs from spawning, and that just sounds like a pain in the butt. So we're just going to knock all this out. And Demethan last time, last stream, actually made a valid point. I haven't made a Terra Steel Shatterer yet. Maybe I should. That is that is definitely something that would speed this up. Um, let's see. We know we're gonna have two here. And how many is this? One, two, three, four, five. Good, because we're in fives and threes. I have no clue what this is going to be, though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so there's another five spot. This corner, I'm not sure. I do know I'll probably want to do that. Yes, they definitely can be expensive. It's one of the reasons I haven't made it yet because it needs a lot of mana to use and needs a lot of mana to upgrade. And we currently don't have really good mana producers. I mean, okay, we do. The Spectralis is a fantastic mana producer. We just can't make the flower every hour yet. Um, and we have one Gormorless running. I'd like to get all six running once we can auto craft the flower, um, which is soon, very soon for that. So once we have that going, we'll have six Gormorillas running, and those will be great mana producers, and then we'll be swimming in mana, I hope. And when that happens, I'll be able to do more things that require mana. Yeah. All right, so let's get this knocked back. And we know we're gonna have colors here. It is on Curse. Floramancer is a Batania and Quark only pack. So it just has Batania and Quark. Um, the point is to automate all of the generating flowers because they have passive decay and they only live one hour. So if you don't love Batania, you're not going to like this pack pretty much the way it goes. <laughs> All right, and then this corner, of course, we have pillars here and here. All right. We're getting there. This is going to be um hmm. it right here, which is line up where it belongs. Go to there. And then this side. You want to go to here, perhaps? here. Sure. And like I said, I'll have to work on the angles where the staircases are and whatnot. How they're gonna work. And we have to go all along here. We're almost out of acacia though. We'll have to harvest some. And I need to check this chest real quick because it was getting full and we need to take the leather out as it fills it. Okay, we're all right for now. 
How are we on iron? Three stacks. Great. We're building up some iron. Oop. Alright, let's go this way. Um, put a pillar here. And then one right here. go get some more acacia wood which I don't have a whole lot growing we'll have to figure out what to do with these little tiny spots that'll be interesting unless I want to change the way these stairs are see how they go up a little and then there's a space up a little in the space if I group the stairs together closer so that it goes up and then up and up and then straight across I wouldn't have quite as many little jogs to do like that. I mean, it's not centered at the end of the hall, but I still wonder if I should have centered it. it still has the opportunity to move it. for symmetry say we should do this. Alright. We're gonna free up some space. And I still have that white wool block in my inventory, but what we're gonna do grab one of the others that we haven't placed. And put them there, there. Just fixed it. Haha. -ha. There we go. I like. Still looks pretty even. And once we have this automated, I'll be able to put more living rock right there so we don't need to see it. And the way through the back is right here where we actually will need to do this too. Somewhere nearby, <laughs> there is a zombie. Okay. You. Let's see if I have at least one acacia tree growing down here. One. 
on. This isn't the most efficient tree farm ever. Maybe we can grab some bone meal, get some more going. All right. It is Winry. Hi, Sabotage. And it's a Nuggets. stackish. We'll put the bone meal down here because this is always where I think I need some. Um, we still need to do that ceiling. This is actually going to be difficult to do um, until I can fly. I mean I have the rod of the skies that could launch me up there. There's nowhere to stop. There's nowhere to like perch to replace that with just a smooth stone ceiling instead of having like granite and coal and whatnot in there. And we need to make a bridge. We need to make a bridge so we can put the um, arena for the Gaia Guardian over there. That is going to be what probably we'll work on once we get the summer rune made. And then obviously down here. This I've decided is where the Scorched Earth is going. It's down here for, I can't remember, was it you Darkwing that mentioned the Scorched Earth? I'm going to put the red fiery earth down here in the other hub, which should have another path going this direction. It won't go this way. This is going to stop here. But, um, yeah. So when we get the summer rune made and we'll be able to automate it in here, then we'll be able to set up the Gormorillus to automate in our Petal Apothecary area. Oh, that'll feel good. Be able to have the next flower automated. All right. See? No water. I wish, I wish we knew what was going on with that. Yeah, the pasture seed for Scorched Earth. How do you make the Scorched Earth pasture seed? That is a good question. You make it with a pasture seed and blaze powder. So yeah, good question. And this hall I'm not sure what to do with. Hello. You want my my villager, huh? Where'd you come from? I tried breakout I have not I've been playing this pack exclusively for a long time <laughs> um, the point was to add either sky factory or the simple life three building stuff to my schedule when they were available but 99 blocks has taken his own sweet time giving me a list of builds he wants me to do for the simple life three so I haven't been able to start that, and Sky Factory 4 is not out yet, so just been playing this. Lots and lots of this. One, two, three, four. Oh, awesome! All right. 
So we have this side marked out. Now we need to do the other side, which... Um, I agree. And that's just kind of the way things are going right now. I, I know it's, it's not the best thing in the world. But someday I might have more building to do. kind of copy the other side. It's quite the challenge. Uh, you you work towards advancements here. These, this is the advancements that you have. Um, you need to make a thousand pools of mana, and it's broken up by the generating flowers. You have to do all of the generating flowers. And the ones that we've done so far, Ari, are the hydrangeas. These are fully automated and running all on their own. Um, the endoflames, that one's running all on its own as well. They are being crafted every hour and they, the supplies that they need to run are being provided automatically as well. The Thermal Lily is all automated also. Um, you can't do that in regular Britannia, but this pack allows uh, lava to be infinite in, in, infinite in, the, lo in the nether at the, the lake level. Um, we have the Rosa Arcana automated, but we are not using a lot of them, so it's only absorbing the XP from the cow farm. Um, and then we have the Gormorillus, which is only half automated. Um, I, I've got to make the resources to craft the flowers yet, but the rest of that is automated. And then we also have the Spectralist, which is the room you've just seen me working on. Um, we can't automatically craft the flower yet, but we have the wool production for it. So, yeah. That's what this wool sheep farm up here is for, is for wool production for that. 